This morning, the measles is mounting a comeback. The new warning if you're headed out of town for spring break and the symptoms to watch for. Plus salt solutions, the reason snow plows were circling the capital. And we do have some colder weather moving in on this first full day of spring. Temperatures near 30, not going to rise a whole lot today. We're talking about a winter storm later this week. More on that coming up. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. You know, it's starting to settle in when you really are the fool who believes in a fool's spring. Because <laughs> I'm certainly one of them. Well, you're certainly not alone. Yeah. I know. Mother Nature had us going there for a minute. We do have a big snowstorm on the way and much colder temperatures. Kelly's been telling you about this for several days now. Yeah, we, uh, we've got the cool, cooler air that's moved in. A nice day yesterday, but now the uh, cold front has passed uh, through and that uh, has allowed some colder air to move in. We're not going to rise a whole lot today. And then we've got a storm system that's going to come in from the north and west. And that's what we're talking about come Thursday night into Friday morning, especially during the morning commute. I think that's when the snow will be moderate, maybe even some heavier snow, reducing visibilities uh, less than a mile. But that'll be all of southern Wisconsin. Two to five inches across southern Wisconsin, you get toward the Illinois border, there might be a little bit of rain mixed in, so it might keep the amounts down a little bit. As you head north, see, it could be talking about uh, maybe five inches of snow. Right now, 28 in Madison, so we have dropped a little bit here over the last hour. 28 in Monona, Middleton at 30. Sauk City currently 31 degrees. The wind chill, a factor down in the teens this morning with that northerly wind. Feels like 18 currently in Madison, 21 in Watertown, 19 in the Dell. So we have this northerly flow continuing. That storm system will be developing off to our north and west. Still not developed yet, but that's what we're expecting over the next 24 to 36 hours. A lot of sunshine today, but that northerly wind keeping us cool in the 20s this morning, gradually warming only into the mid 30s. So we're running about 10 degrees cooler than where we should be for this time of the year. And that northwest wind will make it even feel cooler even with that sunshine today. More on that winter snow uh, coming our way later this week and also another one later in the weekend. Talk more about it coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. UW-Madison and MMSD will be heading to spring break this weekend, and that could mean quite a lot of traveling. It's also an easy way for viruses to spread, including measles. Cases are on the rise across the U.S. Measles is a highly contagious airborne disease that can lead to severe complications and even death. Over 60 confirmed or suspected cases are impacting 17 states. It has yet to make it to Wisconsin, but cases are up to 15 in Chicago. It was considered eliminated in the U.S. in 2000, but has come roaring back recently because of lower vaccination rates. Here's the Chicago mayor. The vast majority of Chicagoans are vaccinated, um, you know, so they should go about their day as, as normal. Um, if you don't know your status or if you need to be vaccinated, I will constantly encourage people um, to get vaccinated. Being vaccinated is the number one defense against measles. Jefferson County health officials recommend staying informed of outbreaks, practicing good hygiene, avoiding contact with sick people, and seeking medical attention if you develop symptoms. Those symptoms include small gray spots in the mouth, swollen and watery eyes, as well as rashes made of small red spots across the body. Well, today is the first full day of spring, and that means allergies are starting to flare up. The CDC says more than a quarter of adults in the U.S. and nearly one in five children have a seasonal allergy. If you have asthma and allergies, then it could be time to start taking that preventative medication. That includes things like Zyrtec, Claritin, and Allegra. So for some people with asthma, an inhaler is necessary, and Senator Tammy Baldwin is helping making them more affordable. Monday, Senator Baldwin held a roundtable in Milwaukee with advocates on the high cost of inhalers looking to hold manufacturers accountable for those high prices. That same day, she announced AstraZeneca is capping out-of-pocket inhaler costs at $35 starting on June 1st. This is the second of the four biggest inhaler makers to do so. Price capping will make access much easier for families. Encounter patients at least on a weekly basis that have issues with affording their, their inhalers. Uh, a lot of times that will lead to patients rationing their supply. Baldwin's challenger this fall, Eric Cobdy, responded to the price cap, saying in part, as someone who's lived with multiple sclerosis for the last 30 years, I know personally how out of control prescription drugs have gotten. The status quo is unacceptable. We need to reduce costs for patients. 604 now taking a live look at the state capitol where Governor Tony Evers made a big announcement for reproductive rights. Starting today, people on Badger Care Plus will be able to pick up over-the-counter birth control for no extra cost. 
Back in January, the governor assured the O-Pill would be available to the state's Medicaid program known as Badger Care Plus. Governor Evers is pushing to make the drug available because of what he calls, quote, continued attacks on Wisconsin, or women's reproductive freedoms here in Wisconsin and across the country. Badger Care Plus also covers oral contraceptives that are given with a prescription. All right, taking a live look at the roads on the east side this morning, this is East Washington Continental. Clear roads this morning, traffic's moving along nicely. That could be much different though, overnight Thursday into Friday morning. We are expecting a bunch of snow. And as we're talking about that, we're also talking about a group of advocates trying to get the governor to look at how we salt our roads, Shane. Yeah, that's right, Chris. They showed their support yesterday by driving snow plows like these around the Capitol. Now they're asking Governor Tony Evers to do something about Wisconsin's salt problem. Representatives from the Snow and Ice Management Association are calling on Evers to sign Senate Bill 52, even though support among Democrats is waning. They say this bill is about the safety of Wisconsin's lakes and the water we drink. What we're looking at here really is, are we going to you know, continue down a really unsustainable path and salt our drinking water to the point that we won't be able to drink it? Changes to the original bill allowed the bill to pass the Senate, but have also caused support among Democrats to fall away. Senate Minority Leader Diane Hesselbein was originally a co-author of the bill, but since pulled out. In a statement on Tuesday, her communications director said, quote, ultimately SSA2 makes the legislation less about salt reduction and the environment, and instead it acts more unnecessary liability shields, which she could not support. Advocates say the bill is worth any possible liability issues. Property owners, municipalities, they're afraid if they don't put that much down, they're going to get sued. People have now pitted, you know, our freshwater lakes versus, you know, public safety. The bill is supposed to make its way to the governor's desk on April 4th. He will then have six days to decide whether or not he will sign it. All right, we are tracking that storm. Kelly's here with a preview of what's coming up in the forecast. Kelly. Yeah, we are talking about some uh, snow that will be accumulating. That will be coming in as we go into uh, Friday morning. Talking about some significant accumulation. We'll talk more about it coming up. And ahead in your morning sports, March Madness. How the Badgers are preparing to take down James Madison on Friday night. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Brought to you by Toyota. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. Like two lines of unlimited for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. So switch to T-Mobile now and get two lines of unlimited for only 30 bucks a line. Experience it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99, plus advanced Wi-Fi and one Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Start saving today. Visit Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, or scan to call now. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? 
Certainty matters. Four Imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. Shop family-owned Brothers Maine for our large selection, low-priced deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. Catch the Bucks on Broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch as Giannis and the Bucks show up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Tonight at 6.30 on WISC TV3. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. Hey, it is time to see what's going on in the 608 today. We are talking with a local nonprofit looking to the future, hoping to serve more affordable dental care to those who need it. Yeah, that's right. Our Josh Breider is live in Madison to tell us all about it. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. We have a really impactful story for you doing amazing things in the community, and they are getting ready for a big move. But we got to talk about how they got here. This morning, Estrella Estrada, the uh, executive director here at Affordable Dental Care of Madison, is joining us. Estrella, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. So you yeah. are super excited. 2024 is going to be a big year for this nonprofit. Yes, yes, it will be. Um, we are. We have been working very hard for a year now in expanding and um, increasing access to continue to serve the uninsured and underinsured. So Affordable Dental Care of Madison, who are you and really what do you do here in the community? Yes, we are about access and affordability. We are a nonprofit dental clinic on the north side of Madison and the clinic is located in a health desert. We will be moving just down the street at the corner of Sherman and Aberg. So really close by, which is really important for this community absolutely yes yes we are all we are positioning ourselves as a community-based dental clinic and it's just really really fascinating because we are transforming uh, the lives of individuals the quality of life so um, uh, we are giving people their smiles back and you know um, dental um, our dental oral health affects nutrition, employability, our self-esteem, and all of that. So yes, it's huge for our community on the north side. So let's talk about that impact because the numbers that you guys do and the impact that you have is pretty great here in the 608. Yes, yes. Do you go to our website? So it's all on our website. Um, but um, last year we had nearly 3,000 patients that visited our clinic um, and we had about nearly uh, 6,000 patient care visits combined, so procedures. So we're looking at doubling all of that. We, on an annual um, average basis, we see about, we get about 400 emergency appointments. What that means is people are already coming to us with pain, in pain, so, and they're coming to us for their first time, and eventually they end up making um, affordable dental care their home dental clinic. Wow, so you've been here about three years. I mean, you have an incredible yes. team here. Yes, yes, and it's, Yes, uh, we work with a dedicated uh, group of professionals. Uh, we have Dr. Chelsea Kepler, our full-time dentist. She is so committed and dedicated um, to serving others. So we are all about um, service. So it's leadership, right? So like just helping people. Um, so yes, we have hygienists, dental assistants, we have another dentist, Dr. Stevens, and I also have an administrative team that are very, very supportive of continuing to grow our mission. So you guys will be moving later this year, but first you have a big gala that you want to yes. talk about happening next month. What should people know about yes. that? Well, here I got a little invitation. Sparkles and smiles. Sparkles and smiles, yes. So um, sparkles, I think we believe in the wheel carry we walk with so much light inside of us, right? So it's more than just sparkles on the outside. But yes, we have a gala and the theme is Sparkles and Smiles. It will be um, held at the Monona Terrace on April 20th uh, from five to 10. Um, everything is donation based. So a ticket of $120 will go directly to serving someone in need of dental care 
or to moving cost of our new facility. Making a great impact here in the community. Yes. Estrelli, thank you so much. We have that information up on channel3000.com, so we're making it super easy. Yes. More details coming up here in our next half hour, but I love Australia's energy here. This is what we need in the community, guys, lifting people up and spreading that positive energy. We love to see it. We sure do. Josh Bright, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. All right, time to send things outside now to Kelly Slifka. A little chilly out there, huh, Kelly? Yeah, it is a, a chilly a start to our first full day of spring, and you might be thinking, well, it's March 20th, and uh, spring usually arrives March 20th or 21st. Well, it arrived a day early, and it's simply because we had a leap year this year. Well, it's not going to feel like spring. We've got this cold air. You know, it's been sitting to our north most of this winter, but we're getting uh, that uh, diving down across the Great Lakes states. The mild air has been uh, pushed off to our west, and that's where it's going to stay at least for quite a while now. It looks like that mild weather is not going to reach us anytime soon. Along with that, we have a storm system coming in from the southwest that'll bring us some snow come Friday, and then the colder air works in for the weekend as well. So we're not really going to get that mild air anytime soon. It looks like uh, temperatures will remain below average. So our storm system coming in Friday, developing over the Rockies. we got that area of low pressure over the uh, northern Rockies. Really hasn't developed yet, but some energy coming in from the southwest will bring us that snow, and that will be developing later Thursday night going into Friday. Uh, chilly starts in the morning. The uh, wind chill values are now mainly in the teens to around 20, 18 in Madison, 20 in Watertown, and also Lone Rock. So a chilly starts in the morning. We have a northerly wind behind a cold front, so we got clear skies right now, and we should see quite a bit of sunshine, but it's just really not going to warm up a whole lot. In fact, we'll probably actually drop a couple more degrees uh, this morning before rebounding into the mid-30s, running about 10 degrees below our average. Our average high now is in the mid-40s, but we're only going to be in the 30s right through the weekend, gradually getting uh, closer to average next week. But we've got two systems coming our way. The first one will be arriving later Thursday night into a Friday. Looking at accumulating snow and uh, for the morning commute Friday, some of that snow be, may be coming down moderate to heavy, reducing visibilities down less than a mile. And also we'll see some slushy accumulation on the road. So that'll uh, create some problems uh, waking up Friday morning. As far as snowfall, it won't, won't be developing until after midnight, but waking up uh, Friday morning could be talking about uh, two to as much as five inches of snow across southern Wisconsin. Right now, it looks, it looks like central Wisconsin will see a little bit heavier amounts. So as mentioned, most of the snow will hold off until after midnight going into a Friday. Friday morning, uh, some uh, rain-snow mixture right near the Illinois bo border. That may keep the amounts down a little bit, but some sloppy snow accumulation here in Madison. Moderate snow at times in the morning should taper off after the uh, noon hour. Uh, just looking at some cool conditions going into Saturday. Dry weather for Saturday, but then another system coming in from the south. I think it's going to be mainly a rainmaker. may start off as a little bit of snow come Sunday, and then we're looking at moderate to occasionally some heavy rain. We need the moisture, but could be talking about over an inch of rain. Heavy snows across parts of Minnesota where they could be talking about a foot of snow uh, come Monday, early next week. Some of that rain may change over to a little bit of snow into Monday. So that's our second system we have to deal with. That's the alert day for the rain-snow mixture. It's going to be mainly rain, maybe some heavy rain, but there will be some snow mixed in with that as well. 28 in Madison right now, 32 in Janesville, 28 in the Dells, 29 in Lone Rock, 28 in Watertown across Dane County, uh, 26 in Sauk City, and also Sun Prairie. So a chilly start to the morning, not going to warm up a whole lot, even with that late March sunshine, 35 degrees today. 37 tomorrow, it will be dry until uh, later in the nighttime when we are expecting that snow to develop. That will continue into Friday. First morning alert day, dry Saturday, then that second system brings us a rain-snow mixture Sunday, changing to all rain, maybe some heavy rain on Monday. Welcome to this morning's edition of Brady Reads the Sports. While playing four games in four days last week, the Wisconsin men's basketball team has put on some miles, and their reward for getting hot at the right time? A James Madison squad who's the trendy upset pick in this year's bracket. As for the Badgers, they're not focused on 12-5 upsets. Instead, this week is about recovering their bodies from a grueling stretch in the Big Ten tournament and locking in so they can make another run in the big dance. We hope to make a long run in this tournament, so, you know, we got to do whatever we got to do to get our bodies right, our mental right, and, you know, just go out there and compete one game at a time. Excited for these guys because they've, they've earned their, their chance to keep playing, and they're playing really well, well right now. So, you know, you get to this point in time, you know that anything left is, anybody left is a really good team, and we obviously have learned that over the last 48 hours with James Madison. 
A quick programming note. So tonight we will be carrying the Bucks and Boston Celtics game right here on WISC TV. The Bucks game starts at 6:30. So Survivor and the Amazing Race will be on Television Wisconsin at 3.2. Survivor begins at 7. Amazing Race starts at 8:30. Once the game is over, Amazing Race will come back on air in progress and continue on TW. If you can't access TW, you can watch CBS primetime programming the next day on CBS. Com. The Wisconsin women's hockey team has only faced Colgate twice. The last time was last year in the regional final in their barn, and the Badgers left with a 4-2 win and a trip to the Frozen Four. Fast forward to this year, and the two meet again on a bigger stage. Winner advances to Sunday's national championship. But to Mark Johnson's squad, whether it's the Frozen Four or the first series of the season, the mindset, it doesn't change. I just remember we played confident, we played our game, and they were a tough team, they were physical, um, and they had really good players, so I think this year it's just going to be more of the same. Um, the stakes are a little higher being in the Frozen Four, but I think um, not much changes. We just go out there and do what we know how to do. Yeah, I think playing with excitement and channeling those nerves is going to be important for us. Um, it's, like she said, it's a more um, stake, like more, more is on the line being a Frozen Four game, but it doesn't change what we're doing out there. On the men's side, Kyle McClellan made program history, becoming the first Badger to be named Big Ten Goaltender of the Year. The senior netminder has posted 24 wins between the pipes for Wisconsin this season and leads the nation in save percentage and shutouts while his goals against average is second in the country. Mike Hastings' squad will find out where they'll head in the NCAA tournament during the selection show on Sunday. Well, thanks for this morning's edition of Brady Reads of Sports. Have a great day. YouTube, Brady. Coming up after the break, brackets and baskets. How one chain is trying to take some of that sting out of a March Madness loss. And coming up in our next half hour, we continue to cover the trial of former uh, trial of DCI officer Mark Wagner. What both sides had to say in court yesterday and what we expect to happen today. Arlette Deleste, new three now at four, six, and 10, moving forward. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments, professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. When you download the Pick and Save app, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. You can always discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide, so there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479 or scan the call now. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. 
They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Enjoy one of our tasty bagel sandwiches paired with a caramel frappe. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. All right, welcome back. We are still talking, of course, about our March Madness brackets. Hopefully you get yours filled out. Have until tomorrow morning or so to do that. If you're already a little nervous about your bracket being busted, well, maybe this new offer from TGI Fridays will help okay. <laughs> reduce the pain. What hey, do you got? There's one on uh, the east side, too, in case you're wondering. Uh, the chain is offering a consolation prize for college basketball fans with losing March Madness brackets. Six free Boneless wings. This is for anybody who, like, well, all you have on. to do is bring your thing in? Yeah. You, you do still have to buy something else from the restaurant okay. to get this freebie and to show your busted bracket. The giveaway starts Tuesday, runs through uh, April 8th. I think there's no such thing as a non-busted bracket. Right. What's the, what's the threshold here? Anyway, what, yeah. oh, what kind of wings do you like? You wing guy? Oh, oh Chris, we don't have enough time. <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> But I want bone in. Bone in, yeah. You know, bone I in, am yeah. not 13 anymore. Yeah. I like a bone That's in. Very, very mature of you. <laughs> very mature. All right, Kelly Slipka is uh, keeping an eye on our forecast today. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. It is a uh, crisp uh, start to our morning, this first full day of spring. Temperatures only in the mid 30s today. It's going to be breezy as well. We're back after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually... Here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy! easy. Hut! Hut! Come on, come on, turn! Michael, catch! I can see! You did it! I did it! 30 minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower. So he went right to work on handling the project. That's him going online researching bathtub and shower installers. And there he is, calling a few places to get an estimate. I think he's procrastinating. Call 1-800-HANSONS for a new shower or bathtub you'll love. Installed in as little as one day. It's okay. I called 1-800-HANSONS. We custom fit your new bathtub or shower into your existing space for a fast, convenient, and hassle-free installation with any safety features your family needs. Safety bars, seats, and more with a no-leak guarantee. Oh, hey, I'm going to call 1-800-HANSONS. That's great, hon. Get 60% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get up to $8,500 off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio As the seasons change, it's so refreshing. And at Madison Lighting, they're following the trends in lighting and home decor. Their lighting experts help me bring my style to light. A fresh start with lighting for indoors and out at Madison Lighting. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. 
We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. This morning, continuing coverage of the DCI agent on trial for shooting an unarmed man. We'll recap the opening day in court for Mark Wagner and what we expect to happen today. And taking our first look outside as the sun begins to rise on this Wednesday, we've got some snow in the forecast. Yeah, we are talking about some snow, not today, but later this week. Right now, it's starting off chilly in the upper 20s to around 30. We'll have more details on that snowfall later this week coming up. And some good news for fans of Madison's Night Market, where the event is expanding. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. All right. Brackets out. Got Brackets finally done. filled out. Had to do a uh, little revision. <laughs> <laughs> Shane helped out just a touch. Uh, let's hope your bracket is uh, locked in and you are feeling confident about it. Got the March Madness tournament uh, starting some of the playing games. Yeah. Uh, happening today. First four started last night. Got the other two today. And then first round action tomorrow. There we go. We're all rooting for our Badgers, uh, including Kelly Slifka, <laughs> who's here with your first word forecast. Not the best news for our viewers this morning, Kelly. Yeah, you know, uh, here we are headed into the later part of March, and it's going to become a fairly active. You know, we started off March very quiet, and this is very typical of March because March usually can bring us kind of a lot of uh, changes as it is a, a transition month. And right now we've got the uh, cool weather in place. 30s expected for the rest of the week into the weekend. We are talking about some snow and impactful snow come Thursday. Thursday night into Friday morning, especially the morning commute. Total accumulation, two to five inches generally across southern Wisconsin when all is said and done later this week. 28 right now in Madison, 29 in Monona, DeForest at 27. So temperatures continue to drop. They may actually continue to drop a couple more degrees. We have a northerly wind that's adding a chill out there as well. Feels like 18 in Madison, 17 in Watertown, and 17 currently in the Dells. So northerly wind, a lot of sunshine today. You'd think that sun this time of March would warm us up, but not a whole lot today with that cold air in place. Temperatures only in the mid-30s this afternoon. The wind chill values in the 20s throughout the day. But a beautiful sunrise coming up this morning with a northwest wind right now at 12. It feels like the teens this morning. More on that uh, alert day forecast for that snow coming our way later this week. Details coming up. Talk to you then, Kelly. Thank you. This morning, jurors will head back to Dane County Court for day two of the Mark Wagner trial. Wagner is charged with recklessly endangering safety for firing his gun at an unarmed suspect while working as a DCI agent. Yesterday, jurors heard opening arguments from both the defense and the prosecution. News 3 Now was in the courtroom and heard from both sides. Let's take a listen to how the prosecution is setting up their arguments. Evidence is going to show that something went really wrong here. Now, law enforcement has the privilege to use force up to an even deadly force. But there must be articulable facts to justify any use of force. The district attorney there arguing that since the suspect didn't have a gun, Wagner didn't need to use his either. Wagner's lawyer argues there was reason to shoot. Multiple agents on the scene say they thought the suspect was firing at the officers. He's not back. Pesky thinks that Wagner was shot. Holly thinks that Wagner was shot. Hale thinks that Wagner was shot. Every, the other agents that were around in the vicinity that saw him fall thinks he shot. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says the suspect, Quadron Wilson, did not have a gun or any other weapon on him that day. In addition to hearing from both sides, jurors also heard from multiple witnesses as well. We're expecting much of the same to happen today. News 3 Now will continue bringing you coverage of the trial today and throughout the week. You can follow this story and receive notifications about any new information related to it with the free Channel 3000 mobile app. To Wisconsin politics now, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is criticizing the pro-Trump groups trying to remove him from office. The state's election commission says those groups haven't collected enough signatures from Voss's district to trigger a recall. Multiple people, in fact, even say their signatures were forged. The Assembly Speaker has made his first public comments on the matter. Listen to this statement. The people who organized this are so out of touch with reality. They are morons. They are stupid. 
there is a ton of fraud. I am very confident that maybe less than half of the signatures are even valid. Again, those are the Assembly Speaker's words. The Racine County District Attorney is investigating those allegations of forged signatures I mentioned. Recall organizers say some unverified petitions slipped through due to a volunteer oversight, but that it was an isolated mistake. As for a response to Voss's words, they didn't have one. Voss has until tomorrow to challenge the signatures. Well, it's still unclear which legislative maps would be used if that recall election were to take place. The Elections Commission is requesting clarification on which maps should be used for any recall or special elections happening before November. The Wisconsin Supreme Court is giving parties in the redistricting suit until tomorrow to respond to that request. The state Supreme Court will decide if counties have to release voter incompetency records. A conservative group sued Walworth County requesting records on people deemed incompetent to vote. They say the number of ineligible voters does not match the one on the public voter database. A court ruled in their favor, but the county then requested the high court's review. They'll get briefs on the case within the next 30 days. A trial is underway for an elections official accused of illegally requesting ballots. Kimberly Zapata is the former deputy director of the Milwaukee Election Commission. Zapata ordered three military ballots under fake names and sent them to a Republican lawmaker who had embraced election conspiracy theories. Zapata's lawyer argues that she's a whistleblower. If she's convicted, she's facing five years in prison. At the state capitol, two Democratic lawmakers are circulating legislation to keep fake electors from serving again. Representatives Diane Hesselbein of Middleton and Kaylon Haywood of Milwaukee are specifically looking at the Wisconsin Elections Commission. Currently, there's one person that serves on the commission uh, who's also one of those so-called fake electors, Bob Spindell. Spindell is one of 10 Republicans who admitted in a civil suit, though, that President Biden won the 2020 presidential election. Attorney General Josh Call has not confirmed or denied whether an investigation into the fake electors is taking place. 636 to some national news now. Texas's consequential immigration law is once again on hold. Yeah, just hours after the Supreme Court said it could temporarily take effect, a federal appeals court issued a new order effectively blocking the law again. CBS News correspondent Jared Hill reports. This morning, Texas's sweeping immigration law is back on hold. Late Tuesday, a panel with the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals ordered SB4 be paused yet again ahead of arguments this morning. The decision just hours after a divided U.S. Supreme Court said the law could temporarily take effect, urging lower courts to work quickly. SB4 gives Texas law enforcement new powers to arrest, jail, and judges deport people accused of crossing into the state illegally. So all Texas is going to be doing is basically enforcing the laws that were passed by Congress that Joe Biden is refusing to enforce. The Biden administration argues SB4 conflicts with federal immigration policy and says the law is, quote, another example of Republican officials politicizing the border while blocking real solutions, calling on Congress to pass a bipartisan Senate bill. As the Texas law works its way through lower courts, one local sheriff tells CBS News the state hasn't given guidance on how it should be enforced. It's not like, oh, he looks illegal and we're going to put him in jail. We can't do that. You know, we can't uh, stereotype someone, you know, someone from Mexico and, and do that. Tuesday, Mexican officials reiterated the country won't accept people the state tries to send back. Es una ley. The country's foreign affairs minister calling SB4 an anti-immigrant, xenophobic, discriminatory law. A law that remains in limbo. Jared Hill, CBS News. The Fifth Circuit Court will hear arguments on SB4 this morning. 6.38 now. Kelly, what's coming up? Well, we're talking about some chilly temperatures out there this morning. Eventually, that'll lead to some snow later this week. Well, the first warm forecast just ahead. Well, that's fun. Affordable Dental Care in Madison is hoping for a big year, and you can help make it happen. We're going to talk about the nonprofit's impact coming up live in the 608. Interested in an electric vehicle? Bergstrom has the largest selection of electric vehicles and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Bergstrom Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric. Go, Daddy, go! 
Whoa, you need the experts. Right now at Felco, get free installation, plus no interest for five years. Call now. Call 866 for felco this right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real and I'm so excited. We even have a video and all he uses is a small amount on a clean dry face and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes and I did this to my father we were at home so we applied it to his under eye bags and let me tell you we were so excited in under 10 minutes they visibly disappeared from view and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines and not only does it work on the bags it works on the appearance of crow's feet fine lines and wrinkles at our $14.95 price it's the best way to try plexiderm and see it work after your first application your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen Americans are doing their best to get by, but with an uncertain economy and prices still rising, budgets are stretched thin. And Washington's new capital regulation is another bill Americans can't afford. Basel III Endgame will make loans, utilities, and groceries more expensive and make it harder to access credit. Families, seniors, farmers, and small businesses are already struggling to make ends meet. Washington needs to scrap Basel III Endgame and start over. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. South Central Wisconsin, where people unite for a brighter future and businesses thrive. And the food, oh, the food. Resilient, unwavering, always moving forward. Now, here's the deal. We've got our fair share of challenges, but here's the kicker. We own up to them. We advocate for change. We celebrate the good and we fix the bad. No settling, no backing down. That's our commitment to you. News 3 Now, always moving forward. Watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Hey, we're back talking about what's going on in the 608. This morning we're uh, focused on a nonprofit looking to the future, hoping to serve more affordable dental care to those who need it. Yeah, that's right. Our Josh Prider is live in Madison to tell us all about it. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Affordable Dental Care of Madison is gearing up for a big 2024, and they need your help to make this grow even bigger. This morning, their executive director, Aureli Estrada, is joining us live. Aureli, good morning to you. Good morning. So this is your current space, but you yes. guys are excited because you're going to be making a big move this year. Yes, yes. We're working on uh, doubling our impact and expanding our facility. We're moving um, to the Northgate Center right at the corner of Sherman and Aber and we are doubling everything that we're doing and with that being said we will be having sparkles and smiles um, it, it will serve as the unveiling of the new clinic um, on April 20th at the Monona Terrace so you talk about doubling in size the reason you need that is because you're serving more people in the community and making that impact absolutely yes uh, for the last couple of years we have um, experienced substantial growth so we went from seeing 14 patients in one day to up to 22 patients. That's insane. Just in one day alone. I don't, we do not have the capacity to do more. And like people are scheduling out till June currently. And we want to continue to serve and be accessible as much as we can. And as you guys as can. are able to serve and you are accessible to everyone too. Like no questions asked. People can come on in here and get the care that they need. Absolutely. So anyone without a dental insurance, people pay out of pocket. We serve. We have seen a large increase in the Spanish speaking population as well. But we, we are a bilingual dental clinic, English and Spanish. But we also serve individuals that speak many other different languages. 
languages. We utilize translation technology, and when someone that speaks Arabic, that we dial, we utilize our technology, and they get a real person. That's amazing. So, yes. I mean, dental care is so important. Smiles are important, right? Yes. They are your future. Absolutely. Um, a smile does. Um, it's a universal language. It affects employability, um, our self-confidence, nutrition, and our overall well-being. I, I get to talk so much about teeth, and I love it, but I'm like, your teeth are everything. They really are. Yes. They really are. Yes. So if people in the community are watching this and they want to help you, you know, with your mission as a nonprofit, what's the best way for them to do so? Please show up to Sparkles and Smiles. Uh, they can go to our website, affordabledentalmadison.org, and purchase a ticket. Um, it's all for charity. Um, we take donations all, real, uh, all year round, and basically it, tax deductible donations. So we are seeking partnerships. We want to engage more with new donors and all of it. It takes a community partnership, right? Absolutely. Yes. Wonderful. Well, Aureli, thank you so much, and good luck with everything. This is going to be such a big year for yeah. you guys. Thank you so much for having me. The, yes. It's been great. Yes, you've done great. You've done great <laughs> this morning. So if you'd like to learn more about Affordable Dental Care of Madison, you can go to the story up on channel3000.com. I have the event details right there as well, guys. So we love seeing nonprofits doing amazing things. And this one especially is doing some really good things here, guys, in a really needed area. Yeah, absolutely, Josh. Great to see, you know, it's such an area of need and that expansion that's going to serve so many in the community. So great to highlight them this morning. Josh is always looking for inspiration to share in the 608. If you have an idea you want to see on TV, here's his contact information. Reach out. He'd love to hear from you. All right, time now to send it outside. Kelly Slifka is here with your first warm weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. It is a, a pretty morning as uh, the uh, sun is now coming up. The birds are up as well. Uh, but it is chilly this morning, and it's uh, going to be a cool week, and we're talking about a snowmaker later in the uh, week as well. Uh, right now, we do have clear skies across Madison. It's uh, not uh, very warm, though. 35 expected this afternoon. That's uh, running about uh, 11 degrees colder than average, but, of course, March can bring us just about anything. We've been in the 80s before, not too long ago, in 2012, but we also have been below zero. Uh, sun will be up here shortly. 18 is the wind chill right now in Madison. 17 in Watertown in the Dells. Mineral Point at 17. 20 current wind chill in Monroe. We have a northerly wind that's ushering in some cooler temperatures. Not a bad day yesterday. Yeah, it was breezy, but at least we had sunshine in low 50s. But quite a change over the next uh, several days. We've got 30s all week and eventually a storm system coming in with that colder air in place. We're talking about some snow generally about two to five inches of accumulation. This won't be developing until later Thursday night, closer toward midnight, and then especially Friday morning, the morning commute, we are expecting some accumulating snow and the visibilities uh, being reduced as well. It's gonna be a sloppy, slushy accumulation as this band of snow comes out of the Dakotas through Minnesota, then into uh, Wisconsin. Uh, generally about two to five inches here locally. I think the heavier amounts will be in central areas of the state where they could be talking about nearly a half of a foot. So the storm system ha hasn't even really developed yet. It's going to develop over the northern Rockies and that's what's going to be tracking to the uh, to the south and east and with some energy coming up from the south that's what's going to be bringing us uh, that bout of some snow. we got the cold air in place and even with the uh, sunshine today we're not going to warm up a whole lot. Only around 30 here at the uh, noon hour topping out in the mid 30s today. So we're running about 10 to 11 degrees colder than average and that uh, colder than average temperatures will continue all week long uh, next week we will warm up but that will come at uh, some rain we're talking about some significant rain it looks like by Monday and Tuesday of next week as far as that snow coming in Thursday night into Friday this will be developing later Thursday night into Friday morning uh, generally about two to five inches here in southern Wisconsin you notice that edge right along the Wisconsin Illinois border a little bit more rain uh, across southern Wisconsin mixed in with some of that so that'll keep the amounts down but uh, possibly upwards of a half a foot of snow areas to the north into parts of central Wisconsin. So as we get toward the midnight hour, some of that snow starting to spread in uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. You see that rain snow line right along the Illinois Wisconsin border. Heavier snows across central Wisconsin that should taper off after the noon hour. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see some cooler temperatures going into Saturday, but dry on Saturday, so, uh, Sunday again. Another system coming in from the south. Initially some snow, but I think this is going to be a warmer sto uh, storm system, so it looks like mainly rain for us. Heavier snow is expected to fall across parts of Minnesota. They could be talking about a foot of snow. We could be talking about an inch of rain here locally going into Monday and Tuesday before everything starts to wind down. But with that system coming in, a second 
First warrant alert day for uh, Sunday into Monday with some heavier precipitation, some snow initially eventually changing to some heavier rain. 28 right now in Madison, 32 in Janesville. It's 27 in the Dells, Watertown at 28 degrees and across Dane County, uh, 25 right now in Sauk City and Wanakee. So a chilly start to this first full day of spring. I'm going to feel like it for the next few days. Temperatures in the 30s with that first warrant alert day for accumulating snow Friday, a dry day Saturday before that uh, snow moves in, then changing to rain later Sunday. Some heavier rains with temperatures in the 40s early next week. Okay, Kelly, thank you. Hey, with spring officially here, you can expect to see more outdoor events in Madison. Yeah, even though it's not necessarily feeling like it right no. now, it will be by the time this is back. Some good news. A local favorite, the Madison Night Market, will be even bigger this season. The market is extending to Capitol Square at North Carroll and West Mifflin. That's in addition to State and Gilman. You've got five chances to experience the market. It'll be the, the first one will be on May 9th. Four other dates ending in October. The market is open from 5 to 9. A full list of the vendors, musicians, and food at the market will be out next month. Coming up in the morning sprint, some new research shedding some light on Americans who aren't getting necessary medications. But first, we want to wish a happy third birthday to Avery. Thanks for celebrating with us. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood 3 to 1 and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab and smile and in each five minute application you'll see whiter teeth so stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays and start using the power swabs five minute solution my absolute favorite thing was how easy it was it takes literally less than five minutes i like my smile i like my smile after finishing the power swabs this is a power swab smile this is a power swab smile this is a power swab smile Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 50% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 50% off and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. We really need new siding. After I get my windows. Have you tried opening ours? We're not touching the windows until we redo the roof. It's leaking. Ah, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait, everyone can agree on 1-800-HANSEN's because our windows, roofing, siding, and gutters are all guaranteed for life and our baths have a no-leak guarantee. Get 60% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Call 1-800-HANSEN's Get it done. Introducing Gloria's Mexican Restaurant, your destination for authentic Mexican cuisine and craft cocktails. We're proud to offer delicious dishes made from the best ingredients. Whether a family meal or a special event, Glorious has you covered. Visit us today. Bucks, Celtics, tonight at 6.30. 
653 time for the morning sprint. It's day two of the Mark Wagner trial. The DCI agent is accused of shooting an unarmed black man while trying to arrest him. So far, jurors have heard opening arguments from both sides. They also heard from a few witnesses as well. We're expected to hear more from witnesses at the Dane County Courthouse today. As the measles mounts a comeback, local health officials want you to be ready. Jefferson County health officials say the virus poses a great risk to unvaccinated infants and children. Measles is a highly contagious disease that can be deadly. It was eliminated in the U.S. more than 20 years ago, but there have been more than 50 recent cases across 17 states. Local health officials encourage everyone to get vaccinated. Right now, Badger Care Plus members can get daily over-the-counter birth control at no out-of-pocket cost. Governor Evers pushed to make the drug available amid what he calls attacks on women's reproductive freedoms. Badger Care Plus covers oral contraceptives for people who have a prescription. The American Heart Association says Americans who would benefit the most from new diabetes and weight loss medications like Ozempic aren't getting them. New studies show doctors are prescribing new medications to only a fraction of eligible adults. Prescription rates are lower for black adults and men overall. We'll be watching Wall Street today and the reaction to a crucial meeting for the Federal Reserve. The Fed is set to vote on whether to cut interest rates. Many analysts predict that rates will stay put at where they are. Some economists say inflation, the wars in Ukraine and the Middle East, and other domestic issues are all factors in keeping rates where they are. Wall Street does predict, though, the Fed could cut interest rates this summer. The law allowing police in Texas to arrest migrants who cross the border illegally is on hold again. An appeals court made that decision last night, hours after the Supreme Court voted in Texas's favor. The appeals court will hear arguments on the law this morning. We now know the name of the victim in a car versus bike crash in Madison. 35-year-old Joseph J. Solomon died at the scene of the crash near East Town Mall last Friday. Initial findings confirmed Solomon died from injuries sustained in the crash. Police are still investigating what caused it. Crews will go door to door in Middleton today to fix a water main break. City officials say that the break is affecting residents near the intersection of Deming Way and Nursery Drive. As crews work, those in the area may experience low or even no water pressure for some time, as well as discolored water. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka. And this chilly start to the day, 30s only today, right through the rest of the week. We're talking about some snow and uh, some impacts coming our way Thursday night into Friday. Just cool today with the uh, sunshine temperatures only in the mid 30s, a northerly wind keeping that wind chill value in the uh, 20s. A lot of sunshine today, but that'll be changing tomorrow. Some clouds move in out ahead of that storm system. It should be dry. That snow won't develop until uh, the midnight hour going into Friday, and we are expecting snow Friday morning. Snow in March. All right, mm. Kelly, thanks. Stay with us, folks. We're back with another news and weather update in 30 minutes.